Yeah, thank you, Monsa. Yeah, I'm Jayakananda from Sri Lanka, working as a research data librarian. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, yes you're yes. coming through. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, working as a research data librarian at the International Water Management Institute, at one of the CGR center. So I'm going to continue with this presentation with uh, DSpace 7. How can we en enable SSL uh, using this uh, certificate license? So first of all, uh, if you want to uh, install and make it a production server in the DSpace 7 with a domain name, that is uh, mandatory for enable the HTTPS in the backend. And also, if you want to uh, log in through the uh, domain name with your administ administrator uh, username as well as the normal user, you should enable the HTTPS protocol. So first, uh, the basic requirement uh, we have to check after installing the DSpace. I'm not covering installation of the DSpace part. After installing the DSpace, you should check Solar and Tomcat is functioning. Then you can check through the locally uh, your front end and back end that's working. And also you need to register your domain name. These are the basic requirements for enabling the SSL. So then uh, you can, I think, uh, very detailedly uh, uh, describe about the installation and everything. I'm also just going a uh, little bit fast. So you just, you need to install Apache. Then after that, you can ensure your Apache is working or not with your port or in the local host. Then we have to enable some HTTP SSL header in the Apache. So we can uh, apply this uh, command and we can uh, make it enable. And also after that, I think Monsar already described this method. Or oh, you have to, uh, I'm just as a separate presentation. I'm also just uh, explaining uh, the same thing. So just, uh, so just apply this code and uh, finally it will ask your domain name. You can, so after the several questions, it will ask the domain name. Uh, you can use your domain name and it will be created. Uh, after successfully, you can restart the Apache. Uh, as Mohan said, uh, here also I am also creating the separate DSpace conf file because uh, uh, that is easy for uh, the uh, running the server. Uh, already uh, in the, uh, defaultly it will create a two or three uh, file default file, but I disable it and I am creating a uh, separate DSpace conf file for the SSL. I can show you in the notes. Uh, I just created that file. Uh, I, uh, in the in the presentation, I can uh, connect with that file also. So uh, disable, disabling the uh, default file and enabling the new file. After that, you have to restart the uh, Apache. Same time, you have to do some configuration in the DSpace uh, uh, configuration uh, also. Just you need to change the front end uh, and back end URL based on the HTTPS uh, activation. It, it actually it was the uh, default 8080 and 4000 you have to remove and you have to add your uh, uh, domain name with https protocol that is under the dspace con and local file then uh, another thing you have to enable it the angular folder also same thing there is a configuration file config production.yml file you have to enable only you have to enable the uh, back in uh, rest file you have to make it ssl true and the domain name and the port. So you have to do two configuration after installing the uh, uh, Apache and configuration. You have to do configure one in the DSpace file. Another one is the Angular file. After that, you can uh, stop the front end uh, and restart the front end. Then your SSL is ready. That's it. I just want to show uh, the, our development. So just you can see this is the uh, back end. Uh, it's enabled the HTTPS here. This is the front end. Already enabled the uh, HTTPS here. So that's it. Thank you.